Hi guys, so today I have these two really special sets to share with you from Die Impress that they have brought to HSN. Super curious what they look like. Uh, full disclosure, I am filming these videos very early, um, far ahead, or maybe not far. super far ahead, but ahead of uh, the HSN July Merry Craftsmas Craft Day. Um, so. I don't know what these look like and I'm curious of it so I put them together because uh, this one says it's the Diamond Press Stamp Kit K-Cup Carrier Christmas and then this one says Template Kit K-Cup Carrier and sometimes when they do this one plays off of the other or however so I'm gonna open these up and check them out these items were sent free of charge for my review and of course oops, all, opinion, all opinions are my own and any links down in the description box will be affiliate links which means I'll make a small commission if you're a purchase items to those links um, at the time of filming this with HSN and YouTube, it might be this little shopping bag down here. So, you know, this is sealed up really, really well. So I'm going to open them both up and I will be right back. The last time they had a K-Cup carrier, it just flew out. Um, it does, you know, it did really well. That was a single and I can see that this is going to hold two. Oh my goodness, you guys. How cute is this? So you have all your coffee related items there. So let's open up the one that says K-Cup carrier Christmas and check this out. So, oh my goodness, you guys, this is so cute. And I will say my neighbor just started up there, um, like, leaf blower. So I'm going to take a quick pause, but I did want to show you this as soon as I was pulling out. I paused, and I'm like, no, I want to show it to you. This is so cute. So it's definitely an add-on. I mean, if you just like this as a stamp set, you can definitely grab that too. But it is an add-on to the original um, you know, set here that's more of an all-occasion type of thing. So let me take a quick pause. Hopefully they'll stop doing their yard work, and I'll be right back. Let's open this up. Okay, okay. So let's look at the uh, inspo sheet and you know Giant Press has been doing this for a while now. Their new kits come with two of their sticky sheets. It helps you stick things down with the little stickiness that's on these guys. So what happens is you face your um, die cut facing the back of the die cut facing the little gray dots and that will they will stick to the back of your die cut and then you can just remove them and put them wherever you need and they are ready to go with the stickiness or you can put a whole sheet of something in here get that on there and then die cut those and you know I would leave the carrier this back part on there run it through die cut and then when you pick it up they're on there and it's great so there's an applicator there's some info on how to use them there for you guys always comes with a marquee marquee cutting folder again if you don't have a marquee you can just set that aside for something else but um, I do love that they always include one so you always have a fresh one to go although they're great for like hundreds of cuts um, okay so what they're showing us here is this page one yeah so step one so Assembled pieces look something like this. You have the insert. I love it. You have the carrier. Oh my gosh, you guys. And you can definitely double that up, right? So you have this little guy, but if you stick two of them together like this. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking there. There you go. Um, really, really cute. Um, it has a K-Cup label, a gift tag, you know, maybe a little plate or like a little label for what you got going there. Just adorable. So they're showing you some different ideas. So that's that. Finished examples. Um, you know, it can be made with or without a handle, which is really fun. Oh my gosh, I love that because, like, let's say you just, I don't know, you just don't want the handle. You want it to look like this. Or maybe you're using it as a caddy. Maybe you're going to use it to help you organize things. I mean, how cute is that? Um, so, again, optional uh, to have a solid back. So, if you if you want the handle, you're just going to pop in this extra die there. And then, of course, these other pieces. I mean, you guys, honestly, even this part. I'm trying to see. I think this one you can also leave. Okay, because this is the bottom and then the top. Okay, I see. So you're using this insert piece, what makes the insert, as the bottom of your box and then also as the insert that goes on top. So very interesting. Or are those two different pieces? Hold on. I don't want to mislead. Let's look at this. Yeah, no, it's the same piece. Okay. <laughs> I was like, maybe it's two different things. Um, and then, of course, we're putting it together with the sides and, you know, all that kind of good stuff. So we will definitely create these guys today what I'm thinking so we have an example of both is maybe I'll walk through making one with the coffee items and then I'll just kind of fast forward doing the same things but decorating in the Christmas way so that way we'll have a visual of both of them right so we have our dies um, I do want to give you some measurements you know just in case whatever machine you might have this is like four just over four and eighth I would say four and a quarter to make you know certain uh, metal to metal and then this way it's, it's about six and an eighth so that's the largest die I would say this one might be a little deeper but yeah it's about four and an eighth also and then you have your other dies there um, the little tag which again you can use on anything really um, and then this one comes with 
this huge stamp set with all this cute stuff. Acrylic stamps, of course. Um, that's what Dye Press works with. You know, take time to recharge. Um, sip, sip, hooray. Thank you. Nope. Oh, think your, I think your grand or grande, obviously there. Espresso Lee for you. <laughs> okay, I'm getting tongue tied on the puns. Cute little images. This one's just like a little something cute. I love you more than coffee from and to. Coffee solves everything better latte than never. Things like this. And just really cute um, imagery there. I love the little beans. The little heart. And it has like a digitized like comic look, which is really cool. Okay, and then again the add-on Christmas is uh, set is a set of stamps. So, same kind of thing over here. It has very much the same kind of style, but we have our Santa Claus with his little uh, maybe hot beverage, maybe it's hot cocoa. We don't know. And then he has his little ice drink there. Um, look at the little snowman just relaxing. His little scarf is over here. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Right on coffee and Christmas cheer. Oh Christmas tea. Oh Christmas tea. Uh, my kid might be the reason you need caffeine. So, Apparently that's probably a babysitter or, you know, um, teacher gift. That would be really nice. I'm dreaming of a flat white Christmas. That is so funny. Uh, Merry Christmas. That's a type of coffee if you're not familiar. And Happy New Year. Uh, the North Pole Coffee Company. Tis a season to be caffeinated. And all, I mean, look at the little pot. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, let me grab some papers. This one also has the area for stamping your sentiment like this one does too. Okay. Anyway, you know guys, sorry before I get too far. Um, the stamp set also came with this inspo, which is super cute. You have some ideas and maybe how you want to color what that might look like. And then just um, some cute images here. I love the little coffee cups back there. I mean, this is adorable. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get started. So I'm just going to follow along pretty much what it's telling me here. Um, I will say I have a I've talked about this in the past. I had a Keurig, like the original all metal, like awesome machine, and then all kinds of iterations after that. And I don't happen to have one right now, but my husband took the larger machine. We have personal ones even. I think I gave one to my mom. Um, I don't know that I have any K cups here in the house right now. I'll have to really look and see. Uh, we order from Amazon, and my husband just takes it to work because that's where the machine is. So. I don't know, but we're going to do our best. I will still do some of the stamping and the die cutting as if I had them, but again, I may not. Full disclosure. Maybe I will. Who knows? <laughs> I think I started using also like the, the one that were like recyclable where you put your own grounds and not recyclable, but reusable, should I say. So who knows? But I'm going to do what they said here. So I love the way they paired it all up and you just cut it all together. It's really cute. Um, obviously, if you're going to put two, you're going to want two of this one. You have the tag. You don't have to put it on um, Keurig things. I mean, honestly, if you want to put like a gift card in here and some other cute treats, there you go. It doesn't have to have the K-Cups, you know, um, that insert for it. Or if something else fits in those little holes, right? So, um, oh my gosh, I know they make lots of cute, like, um, lip balms and things like that that look like coffees. That'd be really cute. I bet you can find some that'll fit in there just as well. Um, okay, so, let's see. Oh, yeah, I mean, and some of these are like frappy, frappy birthday. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go with this, let's see, take time to recharge and espresso leaf for you. Why not? So, I'm gonna take those guys and let's. I'm just looking for a dark green to play off of this green paper here. I need to see if I need something bigger. Maybe I'll put this one here. We're just going to cut right around that. And I'm just going for it, but if you're afraid to do that, then, you know, use a stamp positioner. And just let it really take in that ink, right? Cute. Okay, that guy. And then this one. Um, I don't know if... Ooh, okay, let me see how this circle cuts. Okay, so we do need some space, so maybe I'll do this one over here. Hopefully I didn't put those off to the side too much. And then maybe you want a tag, or maybe one of these can be the tag, you know, however. So I guess I should cut one for a tag. Again, you know. Oh, cute. I mean, you can definitely do this with like a little background look and then maybe put some of the little hearts or the little coffee beans, design your own thing. Look at the little cake up. How cute is that? I didn't even notice that the first time. Um, a little brew for all you do. Let's do that one. Let's put that one over here. So I'll get that guy going. Give it some space because I'm going to make one of these a tag. Um, and then again, we can do... And I'm doing all the same green, the same shade. Maybe for this next one, I'll do something a little bit different because we can do this guy. 
Yes, yes, yes. Let's leave ourselves some room. Maybe I'll do it like that to make sure I have enough space for that one. Oh, I need a bigger press. And then again, maybe a lighter green, just a different color green. Give ourselves some space here. Again, I'm just going for it. Do a stamp position. You can definitely stamp it twice and have that color a little deeper. Um, let's see what I do. Thanks for all you do, kind of thing. Take time to recharge, especially for you. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think which one of these I wanted to. Birthdays happen. Coffee helps. <laughs> How you been? That's cute. Better latte than never. Have a coffee on me today. Let's do that. And again, I'm just completely eyeballing this. So let's get that going. And I'm just going to eyeball where that would fit on here. And hopefully it's not too far off. Cute. Okay. So we have those pieces like they said. And then they said to go ahead and cut those out. So I like to follow the instruction. And then later if I have, you know, if I'm just doing a whole bunch of them, I'll just do whatever it is that I feel like. Um, but we have that guy, and you can definitely see right down into that circle, so that's no worry there. And then this guy also. Very good. Since I'm going to run these guys through pretty much at the same time, we do want to put some tape, washi, whatever it is you like to use. And I'm just kind of eyeballing this one. And I'll stick that down. I'm not looking for it to be any particular way, I just want it to down there and then we need this last one for now to cut our label now if you want to you can definitely just stamp the label on here you don't have to cut it out and make it a separate thing you just stamp on that piece right of um, die when you get that cut um, I'm thinking that looks pretty good I'm just kind of eyeballing the green area around here on this one Okay, and I will run these guys through and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got those popped out and then I'm just going to run the other circle through this one, okay? And I'll be right back. Okay, so we have our little decorative items here and... Okay, for the double carry you will need two back pieces in the same style. So like if you're going to do the handle, you want to do it on both pieces. Now, um... You're still going to need two of this piece if you're doing the single, but... One is just going to layer on the back, so I'll show you it's for that sturdiness, right? So um, you have the two back pieces, and they're talking about that, and they should be the same. Um, because when you go here, where are yeah, we? I suppose this is probably where it talks about it, but if you're going to do a back piece, you're still going to double it up, even if it's just a single carrier, so it's nice and sturdy. But for the double, you're not going to do that part because you're just going to put two of these guys together. Okay, so um, you're going to need two backs because you're putting one of them on one side, one of them on the other, and then you adhere them together. If you're doing the single carrier, you're doing two backs because you need the one that's facing here, you know, forward, and then the one in the back that's going to help you make it more sturdy. So, um, something to think about. I think for this one, to be honest, I think on both of them I'll just do the single-sided carrier, and then I'll show you what it looks like, you know. But... Basically, you're just going to do the same thing and then stick them together, right? Without, just like this. You're going to be at this part, and then you're going to stick those two together. Uh, but anyway, let's see. So, I'll do one without a handle and one with a handle. So, the one we, we're going to do together, we'll do with the handle. And so, uh, let's see. To make the solid back, simply use the back die. Again, if you don't want the handle in there, you just don't use this piece. Now, I like running things through at the same time with the die and everything, but, you know... If you want to take it apart, run this through, and then run the die, uh, you can definitely do that. But if you're going to put it together, you're going to want to I'm just try and give myself some space here. Um, tape that down so it doesn't move, right? So we have this. I'm trying to get that pretty close to here. And like I said, so for this one, we'll do the handle. So we're going to still want to run two of these through with the handle. And so I will tape those down a bit longer tape. I have these little tiny bits over here. Let me get some bigger pieces. You really don't want that to move. But in the instruction, they're showing you to go ahead and run one and then run it again. Right? Run it through solid and then add that piece. And run it by itself. But that's what I'll do. And we need 
two of those, again, with the handle. Um, and the bottom, it says cut one bottom with your diamond press. Cut, And when they say that, you know, they have their marquee. If you have any other machine that cuts them metal dies, the, you know, well, this will fit through, then do that too. You can do that. So we need one like this for the bottom of our carrier. Does it fit here? Oh, it does. Very good. So basically, this, this base piece of it, you can cut from one eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. And then your insert. So I'm going to have one just like this. That's going to be, again, our bottom. And then the insert, it's uh, you're going to add the insert die, right? So that's this guy. So I suppose, sorry about that. Um, I will go ahead and run that through paper that's a different color. And again, cutting edges facing down on my paper. I'll pop it in like this. Go ahead and tape that down and run it through. Okay, I'll be right back. One through. How I do this is I'll just try to leave it stick, you know, stuck together here as much as I can. And I'll go ahead and remove this little guy. Uh, if you are running it through a second time to do this part, you get your die cut. You know, the handle's not cut out of it because you didn't put that as an inlay. Um, you're going to still want to tape it down because you don't want that to move as you're running it through, right? So you would just place this portion on the solid piece. Just use this piece. You can use this as a guide. And then tape it down and then remove this die because you won't need it at that point. Um, I did mine a little bit differently. I am going to take this off. You always want to pop these things out. There are little ejection buttons right there and there. Get that guy out just so we get a nice cut the next time. And like I said, this will just fit on the opposite piece that I had cut. And I will run that through and I'll have my two pieces with the handles. And because I don't know where people are on their crafting journey, I just want to show you. I just ran that one, the bottom through, and I'm also running it through with the insert. You just pop that in there. And like I said, tape it down so that insert part doesn't move. And go ahead and run that through. I'll be right back. Okay, so that was step three for A and B. And so moving on to step four, they are showing you to go ahead and cut out the front piece and then your side pieces. Um, you know, if you're using pattern paper, cut one side uh, piece of the pattern facing up and then one with the pattern facing down. So what happens is when you go to turn this to put it onto your project, you're going to want the lines, right, let's say. So one of them has to be facing down because you only have the one side piece, right? Uh, you don't have like a left and right facing, you have just this guy. So they're just giving you that heads up. If you're using pattern paper, you're gonna wanna cut one. Um, let's, I don't, have, yeah, I don't have any paper here, but let's pretend this is our pattern. So one this way and then one, you're gonna flip it so that the back side of your paper and then one this way so that when you go to use it, there you have, left and right with the pattern facing the way you need it to be facing. So um, I think I'm just going to continue with our cream color. So I'm going to run this through. We need one because I'm making a single carrier, but if you're making um, the double, you're gonna wanna double everything, right? Cause you're gonna need the front for this one, the front for that one, you're gonna need the side pieces for both also. So I'm just gonna run this through once and this through twice and I'll be right Sorry back. Sorry I always come back, but that one piece of a two size paper, you saw the way I cut it kind of right. Um, I got all the pieces and then I still need my two side pieces so I cut the one there and then again this pattern paper you're going to flip it and then run it through. But since I'm just using beige it doesn't matter. Look at that. Perfect. That last little piece that I had there will make the other side. So yeah from one A2 size piece of paper I was able to cut everything for whatever reason because I'm very enchanted with this as far as getting it from one A2 size piece of paper. You remember that first one we cut it, and I guess it was something like this, because that's where that came from, on that top part of the paper. And then I had this guy, and that came from this long area down here. And then this last piece was the rest of it over here. So I just wanted to kind of recreate my A2 size so you can see how I did it. So these are the two back pieces. This long guy right here, going this way, up and down, not sideways. And then these two side pieces, but I did do this piece first, so I cut that out. And then you can get your side pieces and look at that, all the one A2 size piece of paper. So hopefully that you can see how I recreated that piece of paper so you can kind of uh, do the same thing yourself and save some paper. Oh, look at me keeping the scraps and tossing out the side piece here. Okay. Um, okay, so let me put some of these things up and we will start adhering. We do want to do some stamping and things before we get any further. So I'll be right back. A few different pieces. Again, if you're just doing a single-sided carrier, you're going to 
put these things together like this. But if you're doing two carriers and sticking them together, you still just need the one back side for both of them, and then you're going to glue them together. You can imagine there's a little case here and a little case here. Okay? So as you're thinking about decorating them, you can think about that. Um, you know, they have some examples here, super cute, to and from, or maybe you're, put, you're going to put the to and from on this little guy, right? I mean, however you want to do that. So I'm just going to do a little decorating, but for right now we have two side pieces, our front piece, two back pieces, the insert, and the bottom, right? So if you want to decorate the bottom, you can definitely do that. They're showing to go ahead and just glue this to your front piece, so I'm going to do the little scoring there that we need, and where is my scoring tool? Okay, so we have that guy, and it's showing that this is going to be up here, so you're going to want to decorate this with that at the top, right? If you're going to decorate this. And I'm just going to glue this down, but you can definitely use dimensionals. I mean, we can do more stamping, whatever it is that you want to do. So I'm just going to take a moment to get that going. And very cute. My goodness. Um, they're showing to go ahead and score these guys. So this is the insert. It is exactly the same size as the base, but you're going to kind of tuck this in so that's going to be perfect. Um, especially the way we glue everything together. This just kind of fits in there. So if you want to decorate this, let's say it's you know something you want to decorate, you can definitely do that. There's lots of stamps. Um, these side pieces. So one's going to face this way, the other one faces this way, right? So yes, there's going to be a rough cut on the one side. I know some of my friends tell me to take like something like silicone-based tool and just kind of run it on the edge if you like, just to kind of soften that edge. This is not silicone, but it still helps because you're just kind of burnishing that to not be as rough looking, which actually that works really well. <laughs> so there we go. This is the other side. So when you decorate, you're going to want to decorate it in a way that um, you're decorating. So it's visible, right? So we have that. And then um, the, the back pieces. You are going to glue two of these together, so just keep that in mind. So if you want some little decoration here, that's going to be on the inside of the basket and then on the back. So let's put this guy to the side. And I'm going to do some little bean stamping, but I usually like to use, there we go, a smaller stamping block so you have more control. You can definitely, you know, you have the hearts. I mean, the hearts are so cute. All these little things. Tons of beans <laughs> that are adorable. So I'm just going to grab a couple beans and just actually stamp with them all at once. So let's just put those guys there. And then you can just kind of, as you're stamping, you have, you're doing more than one at a time. So I'm just going to take a little time and go around and do some stamping here and there. All right, something like that. And then maybe on this one, we can go here and here, maybe there. Cute. Okay, so we have those. Um, this is, might be the front, so maybe I'm going to put some little beans there. Maybe some in here. Some of that's going to get covered up. Um, this is not alcohol ink marker paper or any kind of specialty paper like that. So, you know, if you want to stamp something and color it in, I would just color it in very kind of quickly. Not take too long on that. Because um, you don't really want that alcohol ink to soak in and then start making your paper feather up. Uh, I can use the same brown ink I just pulled here real quick. And maybe pop that there and hold it down again, making sure your ink is really getting into your paper. And that is the front side here. I'm probably not going to color that, I'll just leave it like that. And then on this back, the back one, you have your to and from. And you can put some more little notes. Uh, maybe it's a good size, so maybe we'll put this little guy. Yeah, I like the style of this. It's all very, um, very cool. So this will be on the back, so it definitely will show right here. So I'm going to hold that down. Okay, there we go. And like I said, I've just used the same uh, color. Oh, I'm going to switch out to green, though, to bring some of that green back in. So maybe the two and from. Let's do this one. And how big is the two and the from? Okay, I do need something a little bit bigger. So for this one, I'll take my beans and put them back. Maybe two up here. And from. And you can definitely put this on a stamp positioner. And, oh, well, that's fine. <laughs> uh, you can write the two and their name there. And then from, you know, you put your name here or however. 
Um, I think that's it, guys. So let me clean up, and then we'll start putting things together. Everything away. I do want to do one more thing. Just bringing a little steam, a little steam heart here, and I'll stamp that on here. So what's cute about like these little hearts and things, like this one has that little look. You can definitely stamp it there and decorate that, or this, right? Even your mug can be decorated with a little heart. Maybe with little beans, that'd be cute. So this guy is just looking like steam. I'm going to put it like right here. And it's a different shade of brown, just so it has some different color. There we go. Very cool. Okay. I'll be right back. So in that same step, step five, they're telling you to go ahead and stamp everything and then score everything, right? So um, with this guy, this piece is not needed for quad carrier. Oh, okay. What they're saying is if you're doing the double, the quad carrier, that holds four because the other one holds two. But when I say double, I mean double sides, right? One on the other side. It says you don't need back piece number two if you're doing that because you're going to stick them together, right? But this one does have a back. Um, I am curious, though, if I should take this little handle off or just leave it. I guess we should just leave it. It'll add some sturdiness or and I'm just making this up I think I'm gonna cut it off and then glue the other one up top does that make sense I know it doesn't say that but I just feel more comfortable getting rid of that guy and so I'm just gonna trim this away but you do not have to do this okay so there's that and then to go ahead and score everything so these guys just have these scoring just the back and the front part of it. So I'll score this one. And I guess Sorry, I was just scoring these guys and I left this one out since we scored it before for this one. Okay, so everything, wherever you have score lines, just go ahead and score them now to have this ready to be put together. So this one has all around. All right, guys. So our base piece, again, you can decorate this too. They have images of that if you would like. What we're going to do is put the sides and um, the front on. So right now, I mean, it's a symmetrical piece. Whatever you decide to be the sides or the front, it doesn't matter. Just pick one and then you're going to turn it however you need it to be. Um, okay, this is the nice side facing up. We're doing everything to decorate it this way. I'm just going to decorate it so I'm going to put this together so it looks the same to you guys. So holding it down here. So when you do this at home you can follow along and also have a couple different visuals but they're the same, right? So that one there. Then this guy over here. And then your front piece. And you know whenever I put things like this together, I'll check. Just to make sure it bends nice and still looks nice in the junction, like where they meet. Looks pretty good. This one could be probably a little further down. That would be okay. Okay. And then they're saying to take the front piece, which we had already scored earlier. That's why I didn't mention it before. This side of it is going to be adhere to this side so again just looking at that and then just making sure it scores nicely okay and now it says to flip it over that's what they're showing you here I suppose okay we still have this one piece to get to and it says you're going to put glue here so this is the back side now. We flipped it over. I'm going to put some glue there. I always like to get it real close to the edge where it might want to come away. This is the front, the front facing piece. But you're going <laughs> to... Back side. Back side. Facing you. Because when you fold it up, it's going to look cute and it's going to be visible. So there we go. Now I feel bad I didn't put a little heart or something there. <laughs> I'll do it on the next one. Um, so they have some cute images there for you guys. So that was step seven. And then on step eight, it's still the way it is here. And this is interesting. So what's, what you're going to do to make this really sturdy is you're going to put glue on this rough side, on the, you know, back side, I suppose you want to say, and then glue it this way. So then you bring this in, it traps it, which I think is really smart. I love that. It's going to be nice and sturdy, especially if you use nice and sturdy papers to begin with. So... Let's go ahead and get this guy going. So glue here, glue here. And go ahead and bring that up. And you can hold one side and the other, or hold them both, however you like. But basically you're just bringing it up like this. Actually, I think for the Christmas one, I'll use um, some of the new Diamond Press cardstocks. 
that'd be really great. So hopefully at this point you've seen my unboxing video of like the staple items that Dime Press has brought to HSN, which I always consider like papers and markers and all these kinds of things, right? So again, this other side, just go there. And at this point I would just hold it down like this because it's just easy to manipulate this one and this one. You can push them down. And you guys were almost there. We're just going to close this guy up. And then, I mean, everything about this is so well done. I love that they could have just not had a lip here, but it just makes it look so much nicer and sturdier and more finished. And I think that's really lovely. So that's pretty much done. We're going to stick it together with this anyhow. So there's that guy. And then here they said to go ahead and put your glue on these tabs because that's where it's coming to touch right here. This one here. And then on the inside of this one right because we're going to fold it over which is just so nice okay so just bring it up and fold that in i mean you guys it's so cute so sturdy already even though i don't even have a second back on it but anyway and just make sure this don't pop out so put that back i was going to let it sit for just a second and then I can just turn it down like this. I'm kind of running my finger along this and then along the glue tabs just so everything lays flat. And the next thing, you know, you can put in your insert. Um, obviously, glue the back on. So step 10 would be, we're on step 9, just basically putting it, putting it together. Step 10, if you have two of these, step 10 would be sticking them together back to back. Right, you glue them together. You can imagine you have this one here, this one here. And you glue them together. I did not do that. I did the single carrier. So um, we're going to take this guy and just glue it to the back. So that is step 10. And I will show you one more thing. Because like I said, I cut off that extra tab. I consider it extra, but if you just want it to be there, then you can have it there and that's fine. They do say to put glue here, and I guess I could have scored that when it was flat earlier. Right? And they say to put glue on this one too. And they actually put the glue on this other one. Sorry, guys. I try to stick to the instruction. They put the glue all over this one and then brought this one in. I put the glue on this part and did it the other way. So the reason they're showing it this way too is because if you're doing two of them, it just makes sense. You're going to put it on one of them, right? So there you go. Back. Or if you're doing a double, you're going to glue them together. The back of one to the back of the other. Okay, so I'm just going to line this up before I bring this little handle up. Just make sure it looks nice and cute. I can see that. In the front, are we lined up? We are. Looks good. And then just glue this one up. So I'm going to hold on to that. Got a little bend because it's wet. There we go. And I'll show you what that looks like because I'm going to make sure that stays down. I do want to say I glued that back. If you just want to put the glue and then add the other one, it would be the two pieces glued together, right? These little tabs. But you saw what I did. I went on my own on that one, but there you go. And so what they're saying here is if you want to then fold it back, you know, you have this and then you can bend it back. All right, so we have that. We have our insert, so look at the little decoration on there. Super cute. And then we have our little insert to just pop right inside. And again, it's gonna be snug because it's basically the same size as the, um, the base, which I think is really cool. So I'm just gonna pop that down in there. That is so cute. Again, you don't have to do this if you don't have, you know, Craig or know anyone who has that. You can definitely use this as just a little case to carry literally anything else. And you put your two little guys there. We have our decorations for them, right? We would put that on there um, if you would like. And then I would probably put them on, I'm, like, I'm just thinking here, with some removable tape or like a double-sided adhesive that's not a repositionable one, right? So they can remove it so they can use the coffee. Um, so that's how I would stick those on. And let's get a little twine on this and stick that guy on, okay? So I'll be right back. Okay, so I just grabbed a little piece of twine. You can just tie it on. You can make it, you know, however you like to tie things. So I'm just going to pop it through there and tie it on right here. And then if you have that handle piece that, if you didn't glue it down like I did, you would just kind of bend it back. So let's put this on here. Super cute. You guys, I am... So impressed with this. It's so cute. Okay, so there's that little guy. And I'm going to do the exact same thing right now, but with the Christmas set. So 
it'll be sped up because you know we just walk through step by step by step of everything but I can do a quick speed up for you guys and we'll have our Christmas one I'll be right back So I made this one uh, without a handle and then again just a single, not the double carrier. Um, I did make it my little topper bits just so you can see what that might look like. And um, again, I don't have K-Cups. I did look at uh, one of my breaks here and I was like, ah, oh, no, not a one. So anyhow, we do have these cuties that you just pop on top again. I would put like a dimensional adhesive or something that's not going to stick stick the whole time, right? Um, I think that would be the best to use, the best way to put that on there. Um, some, you know, double-sided repositionable adhesive, something like that. Um, how cute are these, though? So, again, no handle, handle. And if you were to make them to stick together, you would just have the one back, the one back, not the double back, sorry, here. And then you would just glue them together like this. And, you guys, that is a sizable piece, super cute. Let me give you some numbers on that because 
I know people are always curious of that. So this little guy is four and a quarter inches wide, and I mean the height, you know, I'm just kind of eyeballing here, I'm like maybe four inches tall, I don't know. Um, the width here is it's about two and a quarter, and I think that's all the dimensions, right? <laughs> so yeah, so if you had them together, you can imagine that's doubled up with that, but how cute, I mean, that would feel so sturdy, so adorable little school supplies in there maybe without these guys or maybe on one side you have this and one side you have little crayons and other cute things and notepads memo pads you know pencil I don't know just I'm just this can hold so much it's really adorable just have it on your craft space like a little caddy anyway alright guys thanks for watching thanks so much Diane Press for sending these items for review I did use on this one the um, holiday uh, cardstock and so you saw I had brought the whole pack so there's that beautiful peachy pink in there and then also um, some of that more coral kind of red they have in there so the colors are a little unexpected for Christmas but I think it's really sweet and soft and here we just have a cream color base with the green uh, accents and then the brown stamping and things but thanks for watching guys I will have images I'll have the links for you and I will see you all at the next one bye now